Okay, we are going to look at our book, Clarence Works for Money. It's in our new learning packet. <clears throat> Yesterday, we read the book and we said, and we answered the question, what chores does Clarence do? We said he puts away food, he washes dishes, he washes the car, he folds the laundry, he takes out the trash. And every time he gets $2, two, 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 and two. We added all the money together one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten dollars. So this is a review from yesterday. Today, in your learning packet, we are going to be doing these questions. These questions. So you are going to need scissors and glue because we are going to answer the questions using the answers in the book. So your packet has two sets of answers. We're gonna use the one with the pictures, with the pictures, not this one. This one is the one. So I'm gonna throw this in the trash. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut out my pictures, my answers, my visuals. So take a minute. Prepare your materials. You're going to need glue, and I'm always cutting along the lines, positioning the paper with my hands, cutting my best cutting on the line, and I hope you guys are throwing your trash away. So you guys are big boys and girls. Mom shouldn't be throwing, picking up your trash, your mess, when you ever you cut paper. Make sure that you throw your trash away. All right, so now I'm gonna cut along this line here and right here across. So you're gonna have little rectangles. So go ahead and cut out your boxes, your rectangles. If you need more time, you can pause the video and pick up where you left off. So we have different answers to the questions. We are going to glue our answers in the correct box. All right. Here we go. Also, if you want to use your QR code, your QR code, you can do that. You can scan using a computer, a phone, or a tablet. You go to the camera, and you can take a picture of the QR code. This works. We are in the month of April. So even though we're in the month of May, the unit is April. So it opens up. And then you're going to click on the snowflake. And then if you see here on the bottom, it says lesson, lesson two, lesson two. So lesson two, read and comprehend. And then he runs. And then so you can just practice reviewing. If you go to go, we did the piggy bank yesterday. Template B looks like so. And this is exactly what we're doing today. Template B. Lesson two, template B. If it's too small, you click on this right here. You can make it bigger with the magnifying glass, just like this. And so you can review, you can do um, assignments more than one time, lots of review, the books are on here. We are still in the month of April. This unit is April, okay? All right, so the first question, 
It says, who is in the story? Who is in the story? So I have my same paper that matches my iPad. Who is in the story? Does anybody remember what the boy's name is in the story? What, what is his name? Well, let's look at our choices. Is his name... Oh, well, if I look at the book, too, I see Clarence. Clarence. Can you find Clarence from your little rectangles? Where is Clarence? There it is, Clarence. So I'm going to look at my iPad. All right, our choices are who is in the story? Mrs. B? No. Drew? No. Clarence? Clarence. Yay! Clarence is his name. So take your glue and glue Clarence right here. And this is cute. This is like a little credit card. Credit cards have money. Okay, my next question. Where does the story take place? Let's look at our choices. Does the story take place in the library? at school or at Clarence's house? Where is he? Is he at the library? No. Is he at school? No. Is he at his house where he's helping his mom with laundry and the food and the trash? Yes. He's at his house. So Clarence is at his house. Can you find house? Make sure you find house. House with the picture of the house. Put your glue and put it in the middle, please. Great job. All right, now I'm going to turn the page. To turn the page, I just go to the arrow. All right, it says, what, what does the character do? What does Clarence do in the story? Does he play games with his friends? Does he do chores to get money? Or does he cook a meal? Does he do chores to get money? Yes, he does. So he gets chore, does chores. Does chores to earn money. So can you find this visual? Does chores. Chores are jobs. Remember, chores are jobs. Chores are like taking out the trash, washing the car. So I have my new paper. It says, what does the character do? What does he do in the story? We said he does chores to get money. So I have does chores to get money. I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see. There we go. Okay. What does he buy? What does he want to buy with his money? Does he want to buy a book? Does he want to buy a hat? Or does he want to buy a toy truck? He wants to buy a toy truck. Toy truck. Oh my goodness. He wants to buy his toy truck. There it is. Does he buy his toy truck? Yes, he does. Toy truck. Awesome job. Okay, so let's review. Who 
Who is in the story? What's his name? Clarence. Clarence. Where is Clarence? At his house. He's at his house. What does he do in the book? What does he do? He does chores to get money. What does he want to buy? What does he want to buy? What is that? A toy truck. Very good. 